Shalom Akim. All praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim Al-Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors and salutations to elect Dr. Dunars the right way. I got uh, breaking news, man. All right. Um, I ain't going to grab a lot of scriptures, man. Just, you know, unless it's the Lord's will, man. But I'm going to do a lot of warning, man. All right. Because as the apostles and elders on down, man, declared this year of death, destruction, and diligence, man, it's uh, coming to be true, man. All right. Which boosts, you know, boosts our faith. All right. Boosts our confidence that Yahweh Bashem al Shai is dealing with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. And so on, man. You got a uh, brother, man. All right, he went by the name of Rafa, man. All right, and had a lot of love for this brother, man. His brother brought me into the truth, man. All right, and now he's in the spirit world, man. All right, and what happened? Because uh, I came into the truth, man, 2012, right? He brought me into the truth through Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. He brought me into this truth in 2012, man. All right, along with another brother, and it, there was even another brother, man, but he didn't commit to it like the three of us did, man. All right, he was just there, but that brother uh, is in the spirit world now as well, man. They both died, man. All right, and uh, what happened was uh, they got, they both got shot, man. They were, they was about to get robbed or whatever, man. All right, and I'm bringing this out because, you know, like the scriptures say, man. You got to warn uh, the people unless the blood be on your hands, man. All right. So I can't just uh, see this, man, and not warn Israel, man. Warn you fallouts, man. Warn you, uh, warn you brothers that went back in the world, man. All right. So it's my duty, man, to warn y'all, man. Get the blood off my hands, man. But like I said, man, yeah, this brother, all right, uh, had a lot of love for this brother, man. Brought me to the truth. It was like an older brother to me, man. All right. Um. Yeah, like I said, man, they both got shot. All right. Older brother, man, um, got shot right in his head, man. All right. Straight up, man. And the brother that brought me to the truth for far, he had to see that, man. Then he got shot in his back, man, in his long one time. And he was still he was still able to walk himself to the hospital. Yahweh Bashim al Shah didn't take his breath yet. He let him walk to the hospital. And you know when he was walking to the hospital, you already know Yahweh Bashim al Shah was one of the first things going through his mind. Alright. His family, the brotherhood. You know, he was probably asking Yahweh Bashim al Shah for mercy, man. You know, but Yahweh Bashim al Shah didn't show mercy, man. That's just what it was, man. So, and like I said, the reason why I brought in the uh, year I came to this truth because I was in like 2012. He brought me in fresh out of high school, right? So then, um, basically, uh, me, him, and, you know, another brother, man, we ended up joining DTA together, man. That was in like 2014, all right? But he was only in for like two, three months, man. And then 2014, he went back in the world. So when you look at it, that was fucking three years ago, man. Three years ago, he went back in the world. And Yahweh Bashim al Shah was showing him plenty of mercy, man. His woman, his woman knew about the truth. His woman was telling him, yo, you need to go out there. You need to be out there. You need to be out there. You know, the Lord gave his brother cancer, man. You know, just putting it all out there to warn the people, man. And, but... All praise to Yahweh Shema Shah, because his brother, is he knows the truth too, man. May that brother be sealed. You know, he healed him. You know, all praise and glory to Yahweh Shema Shah. But when he when he had that plague, he was telling himself, yo, man, this this is on me. I got to get back out there. I got to get back out there. But he never did. See? So that's two warnings, man, that I could think of right now, man. Probably was more, man. Probably more that he knows that he didn't reveal to us. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, man, Lord showed him plenty of mercy throughout those three years. And, you know, the judgment finally came down. You know, that's Sarat. 
5, 4 through 7, the Lord is long suffering. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. All right. You know, on those are the two scriptures on how the Lord is a uh, long suffering, man. All right, let me get it real quick, man. Can't quote it. Um, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Yeah. It says, um, because sentence against an evil work, because turning it back on you, how about Shemal Shai? Turn your back on how shy after he went up on that cross for us, man. All right. And another thing is, you know, us being in this truth. Yeah, how about shy is giving you. I don't want to make this too long, man. That's why I'm talking fast. But uh, if it happens to be long, Lord willing, brothers, watch this whole thing, man. But um, you know, yeah, how about Shemal shy? Yeah, how shy has given us the opportunity of a lifetime here, man. All right. No, you don't like to say that, man. Giving you the opportunity of a lifetime, whatever. All America like to say that. Well, we really do have the opportunity of a lifetime, man. And it's not that hard. Yeah, about Shemar Shah just asking us to post up. Alright? To uh do some do some videos, man. You know, be diligent. And we gonna get the kingdom, man. We're gonna be protected when all hell break loose. Even if we get put to death, because we're gonna be protected in the spirit. Look, y'all about Shemar Shah can give the spirit not to give a fuck, man. All right. So we, you know, that's the opportunity of a lifetime. We, yo, we the founding fathers of this thing, man. We are the founding fathers of the nation of Israel, man. All right. That's a lot. We got a heavy burden on our shoulders, man. We got the nation of Israel on our back. Each 144,000 elect man has the nation of Israel on his back, man. And that's Sirach 33 and 17, man. Consider not that I labor, consider that I labor not for myself, but for them also that seek learning, man. Which is the other elect, man, the one third. So we the founding fathers of this thing, man. And that's huge, man. That's beautiful as fuck, man. Excuse my language, man. But hey, man, it's, it's, that's beautiful, man. Alright? So, you know, your house shy is giving you all this. And you're gonna turn around and go back in the road. That's like smacking him in his face, man. For real, man. You know, so. But that's what the brother did, man, you know, went back in the world. Like I said, now he's in the spirit world, man, you know, went there with no mercy, man. Um, let me get a scripture. You know, but um, if I could add, man, you know, when he left his truth, you know, that's, um, you know, when the demon finds it, finds a house, Swept and garnished, man. You know, and he brings seven more demons with him. Well, that's what happened with this brother, man. You stop posting up, but he, he had that shaving spirit again. He had the clubbing spirit again. Partying spirit again. Woman chasing spirit. As far as I know, you know. Because we, uh, we kind of um stopped chilling after a while. You know, and the brother moved to Arizona. This is where this all happened at. He moved to Arizona for... for for the woman, man. You know? That's how serious his woman chasing spirit was, man. He moved to Arizona just to see what the woman was like over there, man. He used to uh, text me. Show me pictures of all the women he was getting. You know? Tell me he wanted me to come out there. And, you know, I was always like, alright, alright. But then I was like, you know, I don't got time to come out there, man. Alright? And then really, I don't give a fuck about women like that, man. Alright? I ain't no faggot or nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? But I don't got no crazy woman chasing spirit like that, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there, man. But that's the spirit he had, man. He's here saying trying to chase all these women. He's supposed to be chasing this right here, man. These scriptures, man. But, you know, he uh stopped camping for it, man. You know, got his Saturdays back, you know. And, um, you know, when they start to say peace and safety, then sudden destruction, man. But... This is Hebrews chapter 10. And like I said, man, this brother's he brought me into this truth, man. It's crazy, man. Him and another brother, they both died, man. Alright. Like I say he was shot in his back, one bullet in his lung. Still was able to walk to the hospital. You know it was on his mind. You know you how about you not shot was on his mind. So this is a warning. Gotta do this video to warn these brothers, man. You know, cause some brothers went back in the world, man. Is this going to be you, man? Because you know what's coming your way. 
you know what is coming your way, man. It's just a matter of time. It's not if, it's when. So get your eyes back in, get your eyes back in all uh, shape, man. For how shall I come visit you? So this is Hebrews, Hebrews chapter ten, verse thirty-eight. And uh, luckily, man, the brother didn't have no kids, you know. So you know it was just him and his boy. So you know, could you imagine if he had kids? Something happened to his kids, or he he got his kids on his mind. Fucking Satan, man. Fuck out of here. You know, but yeah, man. So you brothers that got kids, y'all even worse off, man. So y'all know y'all gotta do the right thing even more. Like it says in book of Acts, your your household shall be saved, man. <clears throat> so Hebrews 10 38 says, Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Which means what? If yes, if if you have Bashanar Shai soul has pleasure in you that means you're the elect that means you're being diligent that means you're doing what you're supposed to do it means your about your shot is proud of you he's happy with you but if he has no pleasure in you he just threw you right in the bracket with the two-thirds man so he called you with two-third for drawing back but worse because you know that's um you know i believe in luke man you shall be beaten with many stripes man because you knew better man and you know, that's a lot of stripes, man, that he had, man. You know, his boy, man. And I was close with them brothers, man. For real, man. All right? I was close as fuck with them brothers, man. And he got shot in the back of his head, man. He had to watch his boy go through that, man. Then he had to get feel the pain of them bullets himself, man. And then have the spirit still to walk to the hospital with all this on his mind. Now he's in the spirit world, man. So says, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. So see, if you draw back, you're drawing back unto destruction, man. See? And that's that's what happened, man. He drew back into destruction, man. After all the warnings that Yahweh Shemashah gave him, man. Alright, so that's pretty much it, man. You know? It's just a warning, man, because the scriptures say you got to get the blood off your hands. All right. So I let it be known, man. Put it out there. All right. And, um, you know, Lord willing, man, the brothers repent while there's still time. All right. You know, like I said, man, the brother's name was a five man. All the brothers in Jersey might, uh, all the brothers in Jersey know him, man. Some brothers in New York can't might know him because that's where we started off. Well, we, yeah, we went to visit them New York brothers, man. All right? The main camp. We went there first. All right? And then we ended up in DTA, man. And, you know, brother went back in the world. But that's it, man. This shows you, man. How about Shemal Shah is real, man? There's this quote in, in, in the show Iron Fist, man. You must always be aware of their presence as they are always aware of you. See? So you go back into the world, you're doing what you do, you go back to selling drugs, you go back to clubbing, oh, you're getting your grind on, feels good, you know what I'm saying, you got the music going, you lit, having a good old time, angels is right there in the spirit, grilling you, just waiting for y'all shy to give him the order, y'all shy to give you the order, that's it, it's, now it's going to fuck down, I've been waiting, for, I've been waiting to do this, man, then they come and get you, man, you know? So, you got this brother, man. You had the brother down there in uh, Carolinas. You know, same thing happened to him. But, you know, I didn't want to make this too long because Jake attention span is short, man. So, with that, you know, stay diligent, man. All right? So, you have death to show some diligence. So, with that, all praises and glory to you. I'll my shot. Double honors to the apostles and honors of great and apostles and elders of great millstone. Salakia. And honors and salutations to elect I can do the works the right way. And get right, man. Get right, man. Shalom.